Hi everybody, this is Simon Buckingham Shum and it's my pleasure to welcome you to your Lassie Local on behalf of the Society for Learning Analytics Research. Congratulations on making it and on to your chairs for pulling this together. Um, well, it probably won't surprise you to hear that in my humble opinion, you're gathering to bash out one of the most important questions facing society now. That's because education is the only hope for millions of people to escape poverty. But it's also because even for the millions who are not in poverty, learning and continual learning is the only sustainable way in which we can grapple with the complexity of the problems now facing us. So as people who care deeply about learning, what is one of the highest impact findings that we know change the, the learning experience? That is of course that timely, personalized, actionable feedback makes all the difference. But we also know that that's hard to scale. How can we do that without technology enhancements to our human infrastructure? Now, as we know, mixing words like data and algorithm with learning and education are trigger words for many people and elicit very strong reactions, and rightly so. Educators, policymakers, parents, researchers often have strong views about what it means to bring machines into the analysis and feedback loop. Oh, and did anybody ask the students themselves what they think about it? So navigating this debate is, in my view, uh, critical now for the learning analytics community. Society is trying to tool up itself and build its data literacy at a furious rate so that we can hold more intelligent conversations about machine intelligence, the roles that we want or do not want it to play in our lives. And there's no way education is going to escape this debate. And as we speak right now, vendors are pitching their dashboards to your institutional leaders. So what are the smart questions that they need to be asking as they try and make these kinds of decisions? Well, Solar's job is to try and raise the level of debate that goes on around these kinds of tools and technologies. So we might ask, well, what kinds of learners does this particular analytics tool help nurture? Is that the kind of learning that we need now to help them prepare to tackle wicked problems? What does it mean to validate analytics rigorously? What does it mean to ask the teachers to treat this as a black box that they can trust? And should any of them be curious enough to want to know what's going inside there, what's an appropriate level of explanation to provide to non-technical people? Which stakeholders were involved in the development of your tools? Have you run into obstacles trying to involve them in a meaningful way? Are we in the game of intelligence automation or augmentation? As I say, I think these are some of the biggest questions now facing not just society, but of course, education specifically, which is our concern. And if the learning analytics does not take the lead in shaping opinion, then we have really missed our calling. We need to be able to show that we are taking seriously the concerns around machine intelligence and that it can be used, in fact, to scaffold some of the most rich, enriching and motivating kinds of learning that any educator or parent would be proud to see uh, their young people engaged in. And of course, we need to think about the workforce and the lifelong learner as well. So do share back through the Lassie Locals website and the different channels we're offering. What are the big ideas and conclusions and deliberations that take place in your group now? And um, we really want to try and get a sense of how the debate is unfolding in your context. So, over to you.